Hello, everybody. Well, as you can see, we've got an old steel TS350 Super sitting here on the table. It belongs to my buddy Glenn. They're doing a little and doing a little demo work today. It's raining a little bit, and they're working on tearing something down and hauling it off for some people. And he said, we went to crank the saw this morning, or either yesterday one, and it'll bump off, but it won't run. And there's no exhaust coming out the muffler. So, we have, uh, we repaired the muffler on this thing a while back because it come loose. I don't remember whether I put it on the channel or not. I thought I did, but I can't remember. I don't actually remember. So, uh. I figured I walked up there and got the tripod because I actually left it uh, on the back of the buggy. I'm pretty sure I made a bushing to fit in there because that broke. And I did. I'm trying to keep losing anything because the the tab broke off the muffler, and I had to weld a new tab on it, or the old tab back on it, which is where you want to look at, and I had to make a bushing the size that it needed to be. Now, what we're after now, looks like we're going to be porting a concrete saw muffler. Piston and all still looks good. They don't use this for really cutting concrete, just cutting uh, steel and stuff like that. But for some reason, she is not flowing. So let's get our flow tester. There's like, let me see how I can, okay. All right. Let me drop everything. We're going to try this. Ain't nothing coming out of it. I mean nothing. Now. <sighs> How in the world are we going to remedy that? I don't really want to show y'all how I'm going to remedy it. I guess some of you probably got an idea. Some of you probably don't. <laughs> oh, if I look like I'm walking a little bit funny, I pulled my bike yesterday while I was doing that video out there throwing that brush. Well, I might not have done it on the video, but I done it after afterwards. Uh I was out there throwing some of that brush and I don't know exactly what I done. I something pulled in my back and now it's it's uh, really sore. So I'm trying not to bend and stoop real real hard because I'm afraid my back's gonna go out if I do. I try to bend at my knees and just let it, just let it ease. <clears throat> Usually, let me 
he wants me to get this thing going as quick as I can. Uh, there is a way. <coughs> Normally what I do if, if I have one of these stopped up is I take it outside, I pour some gas in it, and I light it on fire. And then I blow through it with the air hose. And uh, all the carbon that's choking it up from running 50 to 1 and not letting it rev out like it needs to and all the baffling that's in this thing will burn the carbon out of it. Uh, and uh, that's normally how I take them, take them apart. Or that's normally how I clean them. But uh, I'm not going to move y'all to take y'all over here. I'm going to try to set this thing. A little bit of an angle. So, maybe y'all can. Yeah, y'all see right? Right there where that blue thing's at. That's where we're going. I'm just going to let y'all sit there for a minute. Because <coughs> you can see me. And most of you know what I'm fixing to do. <laughs> I'm going to put the muffler in the vise. And that pipe goes down. And this is a hole saw. So you can imagine what I'm fixing to do. That's what I'm fixing to do right there. Check her out of the vise. Stopped up on both ends. It's got a bunch of carbon in it. Oh, there you go, dock it. Let's see if we can knock it loose. Oh, mercy. I cut a big hole in the front of the muffler. Oh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I forget sometimes that the camera can't see where I'm fixing. And we're just going to have to go in here and see if we can find it. And these holes are about plugged up with carbon. Hopefully, most of it is there. If not, I might have to make some more holes in it. I don't want to make any more holes in it than I have to because they're not exactly easy to weld up. Well, <laughs> uh, you, you can see she's got some carbon in her. That's what we got to get out. Let's see if that made a difference right there. Probably not. It really hasn't. There's something stopping this pipe up, I believe. See? She's got a bunch of carbon in there. We're going to have to take that mess outside. If it's got that much in it. Because that's way too much for me to deal with in here. something flexible y'all something I can push down this pipe right here because no air is going through this pipe at all and I don't know exactly where it's stopped up at <coughs> it might be halfway in the middle I 
I don't want to have to cut it out of there. Because he'd like to have it back pretty quick. And I'd like to give it back to him pretty quick. So. That's a welding rod. Trying to find something that I can shove down through that pipe because it makes a 90 degree bend. Oh. I probably ought to be stopping the camera so it ain't making all this boring, boring video. all that stuff and maybe run into the food box and buy. This is probably a bad idea right here. Yeah. That's all this stuff I got's too stiff to put down it. <sighs> Y'all it's raining out. Give me a minute. All right, everybody. <clears throat> it's rainy out today, so uh, we're gonna try not to stay out here too much. I'm gonna see the crap coming out of the muffler. Telling you what, my back is not enjoying today at all. I still have no air coming out that pipe. So uh we're gonna break down and do a little something something. Oh, maybe I should not be doing this. According to my back, I shouldn't be. You just can't get nothing good anymore. I'm just heating up that, that pot runs down in there. I'm just heating it up to cook the carbon out of it. And I know it's probably full. And you have to be careful when you do something like this because you can get it hot and put air to it and it'll turn it into like a forge where it'll actually start, it'll start glowing on its own. See, it won't even, the air won't even go down that. There's not even going down that pot. I keep having big water droplets hit me in the head. If it looks like I'm I'm dodging stuff, water droplets are hitting me in the head and some of them going down my glasses.
There still ain't nothing going down that pipe. It just stopped slam up. trying to heat both sides of it. I mean, you can literally see the pipe goes in there and goes out the other side. And I don't want to duck this muffler because it goes on concrete saw. But I got it rolling on both ends now. how you cook the carbon out of a two-stroke muffler. See all that stuff burning out? I don't know if y'all can see the flame or not. Picked a good day to do it though with it being rainy and all. I don't want to I really don't want to uh, open this muffler up too much just because it's a concrete saw muffler. That's going to burn all the crap out of it I can get out of it. And get that pipe open back up because without that pipe open up it ain't going to do a bit of good. Water keeps hitting me in the nose. Ain't any leaves on my oak tree yet. Let's see if I can set the torch down safely. And use the air hose to blow some of the crap out of here. This is going to take me a little while. I'll bring you back. All right, everybody. I got her cleaned out. I went and cut me a patch panel. I was going to use the slug and just weld it back in there, but didn't want to. Had a little gap down here. Don't turn out the best. The side's done pretty good. This one done all right. Little hole right there. Uh, if any of y'all ever wonder, when you're trying to weld thin stuff like this, it's really hard sometimes. Uh, the way that I usually accomplish it is this piece of metal right here is fairly thick. It's, uh, it's probably, it's probably three thirty seconds or so. It's, it's fairly substantial piece of metal. And what I do is I just shoot, I got the welder set to weld probably, you could probably weld a quarter inch with what the welder's set on right now, but I shoot the the wire into the heavier material and let it melt down to the other, just beep, 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 and down the line. And, uh, well, when you get it right, 
it ain't bad at all. I ain't, yeah, you, you can't make them all perfect. But, here's the big test. Here, y'all, y'all dance over here. Let me stick the air hose back in. Y'all remember we done this a minute ago? Well, a few minutes ago. Yeah. There you go. There's air coming out that rascal now. I've got her pretty well clean. Got her pretty well clean. This thing was full of carbon. It even weighs less. I mean, that's how much I burn on it for a little while after uh, after I turned y'all off. I finished burning it out. Uh, all that good stuff. Oh, and my back knows it. I'm telling you what. I'm. I get done this, I may not do much more today. Cause I hurt. Right now it's not, right now my back's not out, but that muscle that makes it go out when it gets pulled, gets pulled. You know what I'm saying? So it hurts, but it's not, it's not like it's popped out of place. I can still bend over and everything like that. But if I don't, if I just keep pushing it, I won't be able to. So I get done with this, I might just take it easy for a little while. I got to go to the bank anyway, and it's a rainy day, so I may just go on and do that. Oh, mercy. Get in there. Get in there. One, I can't get the impact on unless I take the whole thing off and I ain't taking it off when I can get to the bolt. That was the end of that. Oh, mercy. All right. I'll bring y'all back in a minute. All right. Sorry, y'all. Melissa called me, and uh, she's working on something or another, and she called and wanted me to give her some information. So, uh, yeah. I hate using regular hex keys sometimes with my hands. Just flop them around. I've never liked a hex key. As long as I can use that long, as long as I can use the long one on the impact wrench, I don't mind them. Do, using these keys right here, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like these. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm. In the last little section of video, when I tighten it up, it stripped. <laughs> so, I had to put a helicar in it. But I did. Oh, mercy. I don't even want to try to crank this thing. I know, I know, y'all want me to. Let me see if I can set you over here. Maybe I can get a shot of it down here in the floor. Let's see if she'll see if she'll fire off. Well she fired off. 
fire it off while well, she's not revving up. Sounds like the throttle ain't working. Oh, yeah. I guess they broke the choke. Why does it seem like the choke ain't coming off all the way? Because it ain't. Y'all sitting over there just watching. Oh, mercy. It might have multiple problems. This might be the reason the muffler stopped up. Yep, choking. Work it. Back at high. I don't know how long this video is so far, but for some reason, my choke is not functioning. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, y'all. I've uh, I've got uh, I've got tear this thing apart. So I don't know what I'm gonna film this or not, cause I really don't like doing this, especially on this thing. And I don't want this video to be four miles long. But the bad thing is I have to take this darn thing loose, get this stupid cover off. I'm gonna try just taking it loose and leaving it attached because it's a real, it is a real bear. To get that sucker back in there. And who in the world got my screwdriver off the table? I was under the impression I was the only one that's been here for a while. But my screwdriver is long gone. And I don't remember using it anywhere other than here. Y'all, I'll bring you back. All right. Now, I pulled this cover off, and the, the little flapper in the choke, the screw was loose. So sometimes when you, all you had to do is touch it and it flip up. Well, I tightened it up and tapped it around, got it recentered in the bore, and now it ought to crank and run. We're going to try to fire it up right here because I don't feel like leaning over again. Maybe.
washer clean out and fix the choke. Well, if we didn't really film fixing the choke, but there wasn't nothing to it other than just tighten the screw up and recenter the flap. But, uh, all right. Let's leave y'all there for a minute while I do the outro. All right, y'all. I'm going to send this video up. I got to run to the bike and got a couple other things doing. I'm going to try to rest my bike a little bit because I don't need to be down. Being hurt is one thing, but being down completely where I can't move, that's another. So, uh, y'all, have a good day. I'm going to try to pedal around a little bit later on. Like I said, i got to run a few places, do a few things, and then I'm going to try to pedal and do some stuff. And uh, We're going to keep making videos and have a good time. Y'all have a good day. Love each other. Be kind. Help out your friends. Y'all bell hopper out.